Hi, I'm Stacy from StacyStJohn.com. And I'm Valerie from QuillDecor.com. And we are here to help you better your BNB. That's right. This is our weekly show where we review one property's interiors and listing in 15 minutes or less. Stacey, who are we reviewing today? We are reviewing Amory Dobbins listing. And she is from Grand Junction, Colorado, or I should say her listings are in Grand Junction, Colorado. She has two listings that we're going to do together. And I'm going to push the timer. Here we go. I just pushed start. Okay. Okay. So Amory, this is a beautiful historic property. It's got lots of charm. And um, I know Amory because she did my design your b and course. And she worked on another property in my course, which is this one, which we'll also show in a minute. And I, so I know about her that this is her family. I believe her parents maybe own one and she and her husband own one. And these properties are neighboring and they sit side by side in Grand Junction. So I think that there is some desire to be kind of brand their, themselves with these renovation properties and um, probably to, li to list them together in some cases for like multi-generational families because they are next door to each other. So this one has been updated. It's the heart of downtown, the Sunshine House. And then this is the one where she has asked for some additional feedback because I think they're now getting ready to update this one. Okay. So Val, real quick, can I just call out when I look at the first five photos here, because I know that this is something that you and I are both passionate about. I would love to see way more variety in yeah. the first five photos. I see three beds um, and not that that's a bad thing to showcase a bed, but I want to understand the full experience, what I'm going to expect from the property in the first five photos. So I would definitely swap out some of the pictures of the beds. Yeah. Definitely. I agree. It's it's a bedroom heavy cornucopia, as you like to say, of the five. So try and offer some variety there. Um, but let's dive into a little bit more of what this house looks like beyond just those first five photos. Um, so Amory, I don't know the extent of which you want to update this property, but I think what you have a real knack for, as I've seen in the other property that you updated, is the ability to fold in some really nice, interesting vintage finds with um, some newer items and make it feel really well put together. So I'll just jump over to your other listing and talk, I think it might be easier to just talk about what you did really well over here. And I think you can just repeat that. You know how to do it. You did a really great job of finding interesting, eclectic things. You put a plant up in the corner. Um, you've got a nice balance of color in this room. This vintage lamp and end table are very cool. Um, I love your yellow sofa. We talked about that a lot. So this room is really well balanced and, and really cool. And so I think I would just do it again. You know how to do it. So stamp out those same kind of um, interior interiors guides that you followed over in this house when you update it. So this all just feels a bit tired. The fabrics don't really go together with the, the rug and the fabrics aren't, aren't great together. It just needs updating. And I think that's um, what you're looking to do next with this house. I think the other thing too, just to maybe call out, um, from a photography standpoint, it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like these were professional photos. And so I think, you know, I, the other listing, it feels very professional and very put together. Whereas right. this one, and I, I think as you had mentioned, Val, it's maybe her parents listing and uh, that's right next door to hers, but I would definitely recommend once this gets rehabbed, leveraging professional photos, I would mm -hmm. also edit out just that last photo that we had up, Val. Mm -hmm. I would either remove what looks to be like the curtain rod holder. Yeah. Well, no, just we just need some curtains on those windows. There's not this is naked and this is not the middle of the woods. Like you've got to cover up those windows. People are uncomfortable walking around at night in a space without any type of window coverings. So that's yeah that's not okay. 
So something needs to happen. Some kind of window treatment needs to happen there. But yeah, this looks very strange and desolate up there. So the other thing I don't, I don't understand about this kitchen, which is really confusing to me is what color are these counters? Are they green? Are they, are they purple? Hold on. The cabinet. They look, yeah, the cabinets, they look purple here. They look wood here. They look green here. And I don't know if it's some kind of light we have going on. I don't know what's going on, but that is confusing. Um, and I'm not sure if they're going to renovate the kitchen, but one really other strange thing about this kitchen space that I'll try and find a picture of is the, um, and these are old houses. I know that old houses are tough and they have weird floor plans. Sorry, guys, I'm looking for the photo. There is the fridge is way over here on the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. So I think if it were my house, I would invest in making this floor plan, floor plan make more sense. Um, particularly if you're after the type of demographic that wants to have families in there because you are going to be doing more cooking in the space. Yeah. Can I also on this photo call out the fact that she has her fire extinguisher mounted? This is a fabulous safety measure. Um, mm. And so I think that excellent, excellent job on this. Oh yeah, I would cool. just say that if there is a fire, it's probably going to happen near the stove. So if there's an opportunity to not have to run <laughs> down the hallway to get the fire extinguisher, if we can yeah. have that fire extinguisher in the kitchen anywhere. It's not, not down the hallway. It's just across the dining table. So here's the right. kitchen. And then that was just behind us. But yeah, could we get it over here somewhere? And it's right. it's a cute yeah. little kitchen space. But I think you've got to figure out how to get a refrigerator into this area of the room. So if that requires some renovation there, I think it would be worth it. What do you think, Stacey? I, I definitely agree. I think there's a way to maximize that space. So it's really working harder yeah. for you and a more cohesive kitchen. I did want to talk about this bathroom really yeah. quick too, Val. Yeah, go for um, it. So the tile on here looks a bit dated in my opinion. And some folks might look at that and say, okay, I want to just totally remove that tile and start from scratch, which is certainly a possibility. If you don't have the budget for that, you can actually- And or if it's an excellent shape. True. If it's an excellent shape and you can use that budget money elsewhere, right. then you can do something else. Go ahead, Stacey. Right. Sorry. So no, no, no problem. Um, there is a way to resurface the tile. There is a company I used called Miracle Method. And I know that there are other companies out there that do the same exact thing, but it is a, a three to four day process to come in and basically refinish that tile. And it looks brand spanking new. Um, I actually did a flip where we took blue tile and turned it into gorgeous white tile and pink tile and turned oh. it into gorgeous white. So it's really, really a great way to update tile without spending a ton of money. Yeah. And then as far as the vanity goes, I think I would rip that out and add something freestanding. You can find good quality, not too expensive freestanding um, vanity units that will update this room a lot along with, um, maybe a new mirror and some lighting. Sorry, I'm trying to see the whole picture, but yeah, you get it. That's a great yeah. suggestion. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I think some other specific takeaways, let's go look in the backyard real quick, actually. So you've got a lot of really great space here and I love that you provide firewood. I think that is huge. I would maybe show a picture of that, like a quick visual that you provide that wood. Not everyone does that. And so if people can, can see that visually quickly, that's even better. Um, hey Val, just so yeah. you know, the pictures they're, they're taking a, a hot second for them to show up on the shared screen. Okay. Um, so just wanted to, wanted to let you know that. Thanks. Sorry. Thank you. No, for me. All good. I would love to see in this backyard um, some more warmth, meaning there's a lot of cement area and mm -hmm. gravel, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I would love to see some more warm and inviting, whether it's, um, you know, through the use of furniture or faux plants, something like that, but 
Yeah, well, I agree. Yeah. And I think for this space out here, maybe this is the front area. I don't know the front. It's a little tough, isn't it? Because a lot of people will be uncomfortable sitting in the front of the house and you've got such a, a big space in the back. I would maybe, maybe spend my money in the back and utilizing that as your kind of secondary room. Yeah. Instead of the front. Now I have a question, Val. Okay. So I know that with some historic homes, if it's a registered historic home, we cannot alter the exterior in a dramatic fashion. But personally, I would love to see the trim color of this house updated um, yeah. if that is feasible, you know, within the, the local historic home guidelines. What are your thoughts about that? I think it's entirely personal preference. I think some people really like this bright trim color. And I used to live in a historic area of Nashville and we had tons of this, tons of it. So I actually don't know the history of this bright colored trim and how far it goes back. Certainly it wouldn't have been original to the house or, and, so, and I obviously don't know the Grand Junction rules and if this is historic, um, historic home, but I mean, it does say historic home, but what does Grand Junction say about right. what is the jurisdiction around? Can they paint it or not? I think it's personal preference. I know you don't like the purple. I, um, I honestly think this whole house needs a facelift front to back. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. where that purple would fall in order of priority. But for me, the interior would be much higher on the list to update and get in perfect working order for those guests, which versus the outdoor, which is less about the guest experience and right. um, the environment. Absolutely. I mean, I, yeah. I totally agree that the interior of the property is first order of business. Uh, but yeah, again, but I, I, I agree with you. I think, I think it could be painted to be a bit more, um, appealing to a larger number of people. This is a very specific look. Yeah. yeah. Could we pop over to the second listing, the one that yeah. you had worked with, with her on the thing that I also just want to mention about this is again, it's gorgeously decorated. It's very streamlined. Um, there are some colors that she has chosen um, within this listing that feel like they're a staple color mm. in many of the rooms. Yeah. And if we're going to market these two properties together, the fact that they're side by side, I think there's tremendous opportunity to almost create a lockout listing, shall we say, mm -hmm. where you can rent you both know, at once, both at one time, or right. you can rent each you know, property in a single fashion. Yeah. I think it would be great as she, uh, as she is redecorating the other property that we carry through the same color scheme. Um, yeah. So we talked about, yeah, maybe it. it's not like the exact same color scheme, but maybe you take this dominant green color mm -hmm. and cause here you've got greens and oranges mostly. And then you've also got some pinks and some yellows throughout this house. So maybe you take that dominant green color and you make that also a dominant color in the other house, Amory, so that you can call this is the, um, what is this one called? The sunshine house. And this is the sister house. It's the rude house or, you know, whatever your names for them are that you can easily market them together by carrying some color through. It's a great, yeah. a great suggestion. Cool. Cool. Um, the other thing really quickly. Yeah. Can we pop over to the listing? Um, so the title, I always love to pay close attention to the headlines or title of the property heart of historic, uh, or heart of downtown historic charmer with patios barbecue. I would definitely say to include your most important things about the listing in the property. So if this is in the heart of downtown, is it walkable to places? Is it walkable to local restaurants or shopping? I would be curious, what do we mean by heart of downtown? Um, personally, and this is maybe just an opinion thing, I'm not sure that a barbecue is going to draw people in. So really, really focus on putting things in your headline that are going to be those must-haves or the very specific things that people are going to be looking for, um, I think is really, really 
uh, a better use of that prime real estate, as I like to say. Um, go ahead, Val. You look like you're about to say something. We have no, I just seconds. no, no, no. I just um, I agree, and it does look like it is walkable to a lot of things. So definitely putting that word walkable in the headline then would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, I think again, you know, if you have the desire to list these two properties together, you can do that. If you're using a property management system, I know that I do that. Um, in in mine. Uh, and it's very beneficial because it gives you flexibility um, with revenue generation to really, really be able to, you know, boost up your income by renting both spaces together or each one singly. And with that, I have one second left. <laughs> Here we go. Awesome. Oh. Okay. Okay, perfect. Amory, thank you for submitting your listing. We really appreciate it. And that we hope that this was helpful and good luck updating your second home. Absolutely. And if you would like to apply to have your listing reviewed on the show, just go to betteryourbnb.com and fill out a very simple form. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe so that you get notification every time we release a new show. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Valerie Malone. And I'm Stacey St. John. Happy hosting. Bye. Bye.